We're looking at Williamson County, Tennessee's new F-350 response vehicle purchased as a turnkey vehicle solution through the HGAC buy program. So we've got F-350 diesel featuring sound off signals, blueprint electrical system. We've got a road bumper push bumper up front. We've got 4M power. So where the scene light would normally go, we cut a panel and mounted 4M powers with a tricolor light in the front. We added a little green for them at their request. We've got a worn winch with the synthetic winch cable. We've got ORV lights in the fog light cutout that we CNC cut, HDP panels for the two by one sound off ORV lights. Coming down the side, got the Argus spotlight. We've got M powers on the side. Graphics package to match their existing. SL runners down the side. Lucy's auto eject, airy cap, fire tech compartment lights, Lucy's 12 volt and ignition fuse panel for future expansion and adding any additional equipment for them. Ground stud allows them to easily uh, tie any equipment when they get the vehicle, along with a 12 volt USB panel to easily plug anything in when they get the vehicle. Back of the vehicle, up top, six mod traffic advisor. Continuing with the graphics package, another road armor rear bumper, four inch M power, another set of two inch ORV lights with another set of HDP panels. With the hatch up, what we did was shut off the interior of the traffic advisor so they don't get blinded. With the tailgate down, you can see that besides the bumpers that they have that came off the vehicle, we've got a thousand pound slide master with the seats and stuff like that. On the side, we've got our drop down panel for our blueprint control system so that they can easily service their equipment. They've got the remote nodes, their fuse panels for the back. So what we did for them a little differently, we matched their existing vehicles. We gave them a gear safe compartment on the side. So compartment open, they've got their turnout gear storage. We've got fire tech compartment lighting inside. They've got their gear safe filter up top. They've got a parts drawer down below. And then we have all of our electronics storage below the cabinet. They've got their radio chassis on the back side. And this stuff is all removable for serviceability. Uh, and then we also have more electronics storage on the other side. So we're taking a look at our console area. Starting up top, we have a Argus controller along with their compartment indicator. So we cut a HTP panel to mount everything up top there. We have our hint mount along with our Gamber Johnson dock. We have our custom console with our radio cutouts, our inverter controls on this side. We have our winch shut off along with our outlets. All of our radios and blueprint controller are all custom cut in. We've got our uh, winch controller just stored for them in our little three inch accessory pocket along with our cup holder and our uh, cell phone pocket. We've got our raised padded armrest and our little storage pocket. Vehicles in drive response mode. All of our flashing white is now engaged. So our light bar has got our aggressive pattern. All of our lights have their uh, response pattern on. You can see that our ORV lights are now flashing and um, along with all of our side lights have all of their white flashing and it automatically shuts off when the vehicle is in park through the OBD2 link module. If you have any questions about this vehicle or the HDAC buy program, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out with your next project.